and today I wanted to do something a little different. I want to tell you about bats and hopefully dispel some myths about bats. And so hopefully you'll stick around and watch this video. Um, the bat population is in a rapid decline and there's something called white nose syndrome that's threatening the bats and you know half of all bats in the United States are listed as rare, threatened, or endangered. And I think bats are worth saving. So I want to help educate my friends about bats. So first off, let's start with myths. Myth number one. Bats are blind. There are no blind bats. They see extremely well. Most bats can see as well as humans. Fruit bats have eyesight that is adapted to low light, just like cats. Fruit bats also see in color, and they use, most bats use echolocation. Um, it's a sort of a radar to find their way around. So bats are not blind. Myth two. Bats get tangled in your hair? Another myth, that's not true. Bats do not try to become tangled in hair. In fact, insect eating bats are equipped with a built-in sonar system, like what I talked about before. This allows them to navigate at breakneck speed through total darkness. Their unique echolocation ability is literally thousands of times more efficient than any other similar system built by humans. Merlin Tuttle, who is the founder and president of Bat Conservation International, actually tried to make this happen. He tried to get them to tangle in hair, but they just wouldn't do it. Um, he notes that echolocation, their sophisticated sonar system, allows bats to dodge wires as fine as human hairs in the dark. So if a bat swoops towards you, it's probably after the mosquito that's hovering just above your head not your hair. Myth three. Bats are rabid attackers of humans. That one's a little crazy. Um, bats are actually clean, meticulous groomers. They can contract rabies like, like most mammals. You rarely have to worry about a sick bat if you just leave them alone and go about your business. Less than one half of 1% of bats actually contract rabies. In reality, more people die annually from contact with household pets than have died from contact with bats in all recorded history. This doesn't mean that it's okay to touch or handle bats, as they may be afraid and bite in self-defense. Bats are wild animals, and all wild animals can be dangerous. Additionally, grounded bats, bats that you find on the ground, are more likely to be sick, so they should never be rescued barehanded. Most bats are gentle animals and would much rather get out of a person's way than to attack him or her. If you do ever come in contact with a grounded bat, there are animal rescue organizations all around. There are some that are devoted strictly to bats that would come and take care of that bat for you. So. The next myth. Myth number four. Bats are bloodsuckers. Ooh, vampire bats. Ooh. Most bats are nocturnal and eat insects, fruit, nectar, and pollen. A few species eat fish and frogs, and only three of over 1,100 species of bats ingest blood. They live only in Latin America, and only one feeds on livestock, while the others feed on the blood of birds. So the vast majority of bats are not bloodsuckers. Myth number five. Bats are rodents. No, they're not. Bats are no more related to rodents than humans are. 
Evolution studies show that bats are more closely related to primates than to rodents. They have their own classification. And myth number six. Bats are ugly. That's not true. Some bats do look a little funny, but many bats are cute and all of them are fascinating. Most bats have very cute faces. Some even resemble deer, rabbits, and little chihuahuas, which makes me remember. My mom has a little chihuahua. I always have told her I wouldn't be surprised to find it hanging upside down because she looks a little bit like a fruit bat. But like cats, bats spend an enormous amount of time grooming their fur, keeping it soft and silky. So those are the myths. Now just a few facts about bats. Bats are shy, gentle, and intelligent. They are among the slowest reproducing animals on earth. Most bat species have only one live young per year. And a mother bat nurses her baby and cuddles it just like we do, just like humans. I've seen pictures of these bats hugging their babies. If you ever get a chance, check out the YouTube channel, Mega Batty. They have moms and bats on there, and you can see just how loving bats are. The average lifespan of a bat is 25 to 40 years, so the average lifespan is pretty good. Most importantly about bats and why we need them so much is bats help control pests. A single bat can snap up over 600 mosquitoes in one hour, as well as other little pets, pests. Bats eat nearly their weight in mosquitoes and crop pests before flying back to their roosts each night. Think about that. Think about how many more bugs we would have if it weren't for bats. Insect eating bats eat billions of tons of insects each summer. That's crazy. Bats also protect our crops and keep our costs down at the marketplace. Fruit bats bring us over 450 commercial products and 80 medicines through pollination and seed dispersal. Over 95% of rainforest regrowth comes from seeds that have been spread by fruit bats. So fruit bats are huge pollinators. We need bats. Bats are very important to our ecosystem and very important to our lives. So I just wanted to share a little bit about bats with you in hopes that you would try to love them as much as I do. I wanna share where I got my research from. I got my facts from Bat World Sanctuary. You can visit them at www.batworld.org. I got some information from National Geographic. You can visit them at www.nationalgeographic.com and the National Wildlife Federation at www.nfw.org. I also personally contribute to Bat Conservation International. The reason I chose them is because they are dedicated to bat conservation throughout the world and I feel like they're a very worthy cause. I do a monthly donation. You also can adopt a bat. Adopt a bat. I say it that way because it's not a real bat but you can donate $25 and you can pick a stuffed bat so you can have your own little bat and I have ordered one of those. I haven't gotten it yet. So once I get it, I'll have my own little bat. And you can visit Bat Conservation International at www.batcon.org. I hope you found this video educational and I will talk to you later. Bye.